Hello guys, in this video I want to continue on my Rap Notify explanation and actually show you the uh, use case for the Rap Notify. So uh, in my previous video we ex I explained to you uh, what the Rap Notify is and basically that it creates a function attached to it. You can see that video in the link in the description and I'll pop it up right here. Um, but now I want to actually make an example so that it, it's even more clear to you what uh, the Rap Notify is and how it works. So uh, what we're going to be making is a door that opens and then I'm going to be showing you the difference between uh, having that door replicated with a Rap Notify which uh, basically shows the status to open or uh, not opened of the door and then I'll show you the difference between using a rep notify and a multicast and the advantages of using a rep notify instead of using a multicast. So uh, let's go ahead and create ourselves a blueprint class. We're gonna click right click blueprint class actor call this BP uh, replicated door or whatever you like to call it. We're gonna drag this into the level and open it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is make ourselves a little door. So for that, I'm just gonna be using uh, some cubes. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have to use a bit of our imagination here because this is supposed to look like a door. Let's make it a bit thinner and a bit taller. Let's see how big this is. That's quite a big door, okay. So uh, it's almost like a vault door, right? <laughs> this is our vault door. And now we're gonna be Replic notifying this door to open and close. So it's going to go like open, close, open, close. Um, the first thing that you have to do in order to make this work is that uh, inside of your actor, you go to class defaults, and then here on the right, you see replication settings. So let's make sure that replicates is set to true because otherwise uh, zero multiplayer logic will function inside of this actor regardless. So rep notify set to true, and then we're gonna make ourselves a little event. So let's say custom event, um, open door. And we want this open door event, or rather, let's call it toggle door. And we want this event to occur whenever we, let's say, whenever we walk into the vicinity of the door, right? So first of all, click on your default scene route, and we're gonna add some collision. Uh, some box collision will suffice. And I'll drag this in front of the door, like over here, just so we can control that door actually. And we'll also make this uh, visible here, so hidden in game, we're gonna turn that off. And then we're gonna, gonna get an event for when we overlap this actor. So first of all, let's uh, give that a little test. Let's say, make it say hello. So we're gonna turn our door around. And then we are going to walk inside of it Look, now it prints hello and hello on the server and on the client. So that's great. Um, so first of all, uh, we only want this event to occur when we are walking through this collision on the server. So the first thing that we're gonna type is switch has authority. And this ensures that, well, as you saw right now, it printed both for the client hello and it printed for the server hello. Uh, play back the video if you wanna see that again. Um, but essentially what happens is that, well, if I walk through this here, uh, then on my local client, I walk through it. So then for me, it will print hello and for the server, it will print hello. But since this door, we wanted the server to be authoritative over this door. We only want this event that we walk into this collision to also only happen on the server and not for the server and the client, because we want the server in this case, sending down the status of the door to the client. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna say only the authority will print hello when we walk through that collision. So let's give that a quick test. Here we go. If the client walks through it, the server on the top left will print hello. And when the server walks through it, the server prints hello. So only the server is now aware of us walking through this volume right here. That's great. Uh, and that means that anything beyond this point will execute on the server. So even if we have this custom event here called toggle door, which we are now going to call here, toggle door, even if this event here is not replicated or not run on the server or not multicasted, it will still only occur on the server right now. And that's great because that's what we need for rep notifies because rep notifies are set on the server. So basically, if you follow your path of logic, we are now still on the server. And because of that, we don't have to run this on the server. Then what we're going to do is create ourselves to variable and we're going to call this um, 
a door open or let's call it opened. So this will indicate is that door open? And then what we're gonna do is uh, some uh, logic to make it go from open to not open, open to not open. So by default, the door is closed. So it's gonna be set to false. And then what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna flip this one. So to do that, we're gonna get the current value, which is false. And then we're gonna say not. Um, and what this will do is it will turn turn the opposite. So not will go to true and then we will set it. So now every time that we basically walk through here, it will go from false to true, false to true. So we can print that so that you understand it better. If we now hit play, then here on the right, we're gonna walk through it and now it will say true. And then the second time it will say false. So that basically means the door is open, the door is not open. Now, that's great, but now we are only setting this variable on the server. So this is not replicated down to the client at all. So for that, we are going to have to set it here to wrap notify. And then uh, we get this corresponding function here that will both execute on the server and on all the clients. So you can either double click here to open that function, or you can simply double click on the actor here. Um, and then basically what we want is when the door is opened, we want to open the door. When the door is closed, we want to close that door. So for that, we are going, going to basically uh, run two events. So let's do custom event, open the door. And we're going to make an event called close the door. So custom event, close the door. And then inside of the wrap notify, we're going to handle based on, this, on that value of this variable. So if we open this up, we're gonna then inside of this function, so when the variable uh, value changes, we're gonna do some logic. So this will happen both on the server and on all the clients. So when opened is true, that means we want to close the door. And when opened is false, that means we want to open the door. So basically, if the door is set to true, Oh, sorry, we need to flip this around, of course. What am I doing? <laughs> so <laughs> this makes more sense. So if the door is opened, then we want to open the door. If the door is false, then obviously we want to close the door. Sorry for that. Um, and now you can already print this. So now you can already say print. And then here we are going to say open. And then here we are going to say close. So now if we click on play, we'll see that when the client walks through it, they will say open and the server also knows that it's open. When the server walks through it, we're gonna say close and close because now we toggled it. So open, open, close, close. So both the server and the client are now fully aware that that door is open or closed. So now let's actually make the door open or closed. So in, for that, we're gonna going to use a little timeline. So if you type in timeline, we'll call it uh, door closing opening doesn't really matter what you call it. And then open door will basically play the event. So it will forward the event and closed door will reverse the event. And here we are actually going to twist the door. So what we're going to do is we're gonna twist it on the yaw 90 degrees. That would uh, look good enough for the purpose of this tutorial. So grab your cube and say set relative rotation. Uh, and then we're going to update the rotation we're going to split the structure and then we have to change that yaw from zero to 90. So open up your timeline, click on track, add float, and we're gonna call this the rotation Z. We wanna change the timeline to be one second because otherwise it uh, takes very long to open and close this door. Um, hold shift and click somewhere. So basically, uh, if you hold shift and then left click, you get the little point. You can also just right click the line, add a key, uh, basically here, but then we click our key, we put this to zero seconds and the value is zero. And then we put another key at one second and the value will be 90 here. And then if we look at the timeline like this, here we go. So uh, this is basically that all the timeline does. So now if we return here, we can put the set in here and then we will go to 90 and back to zero. So now if we test this, we'll see that this is already replicated in a proper manner because we will see that both the server and the client will open and close the door properly. So if the server walks through this, we'll see that the door will open and then we see that the door will close. 
And then the client can do the same. The door will open and the door will close. And that's a, that's a good practical example of how you can use a wrap notify. Now, there are, of course, people that might be confused right now as to why uh, it works this simply, but... Um, uh, or why we do not use a multicast, for example. And the reason for that is that if you use a multicast, multicasts only happen in the moment, at the moment. And if you miss a multicast, then you simply missed it and uh, you will not be able to, um, to see what happened. So if we were to multicast the door like this, multicast reliable then in the in the case that this door opened and you were not in the session at that point then the door will be out of sync so to ensure that the door is both in sync for the client and the server even if clients connected uh, five minutes after the match has already started and doors has been open and closed then wrap notify is perfect to keep everybody in sync so I hope uh, this is clear and that you guys understand the tutorial uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this because that helps out the channel and uh, yeah, peace out, bye.